crazy because she she was gonna give that give gift that to me for my birthday, mm. um, and then we had like a little breakup and whatnot. But she still ended up giving me this book. Mm. But yeah, since from like from then, man, like that really sparked the fuel in me yeah. to like really like go balls deep yeah. into whether like whether it's my businesses or like just change as a human being. Oh, definitely. Well, like the whole the whole thing of self development, like the curiosity I have for the whole the whole like you know what I mean the whole game is like what sort of person can I become how far can I take mm, this yeah you know yeah I mean? yeah for sure like there's so many aspects of self development like it goes from physical spiritual mental like even financial emotional you know yeah what I mean? exactly there's so many yeah. aspects that you can like actually endeavor down and like yeah. see how far you can get with it yeah. What's up, y'all? How you doing? Welcome to the Art of Development. I'm Mark Polina, and I'm Ricky Gorsi. How you doing, my man? Uh, it's it's fine. We finally got a podcast running up. <laughs> Definitely, it's, it's been a while, bro. We've been we've been trying to get this podcast up, and probably like oh, I would probably just say the start of the year, and now we finally got it up. Finally got everything set up, so pretty excited to get it started. Cool. So uh, Art of Development. So if you guys don't know us, well. Uh, I usually have my uh, personal brand. If you follow me on Mark Dot on Instagram, uh, fucking uh, shady, sh- what do you call that? Plug. Sh- shady plug. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I guess we can call it a shady plug. Um, I'm all about that uh, self development connoisseur. So if you haven't if you haven't been following me for a while, that's what I've been usually been doing. Um, but this this podcast is basically uh, us discussing um, anything in development, really, when it comes to business. Um, uh, I would say photography, speci- especially if you don't know, uh, we're both photographers. We both run our um, own photography business, yep. so which is really cool. <laughs> um, that's how we met, actually. Um, <laughs> sorry, we'll, we'll talk about that story later on, actually. Um, but yeah, we're g- even in health, fitness, marketing, everything. That's definitely we're going to be covering all aspects of self development and um, yeah, you know, just like personal personal development in general. Yeah, pretty much. And Pre- hopefully, we can provide some tips that'll help you yeah maybe some value i mean like it's all like a, a discussion really you know what i mean and we're just here to have a discussion we ain't your guru just gonna gonna <laughs> put that out there we're not your guru but we're here to like you know talk about what we've like uh encountered or discovered when it comes to all this kind of stuff Definitely. because i feel like with our uh you know the generation nowadays not many people really like to get into this stuff mm. so if you uh like us or like us in as people, um, just listen to us and you'll get that self development. But we do recommend to really research yourself, right? Definitely, definitely. Fantastic. Well, today um, we're gonna we're gonna just like dive into uh, you know our little dev- uh, self development journey, um, which we all you know which we both started in. I I think I started my self development journey when I started my photography business, which was like five years ago. Uh, I don't know about you. When when did you start? I guess it started with like your your health journey yeah, first. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So um, it pretty much started with me with physical development, and I was always um, always into the gym and stuff like that. And then yeah, right. further on, I started right. getting into like um, development in terms of like mental health and all that sort of like yeah psychology type of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And um, yeah, from there it's just like pretty much interest in every aspect of self development. So that's that's where it sparked from, eh? That's where it definitely sparked from the health. Yeah, health but you, you didn't really get into your like uh, actual self development until until you started your photography like journey, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you could like around the same sort of time I started my business and. Yeah, right. When would you start your business again, bro? Um, it was about probably about two years now. We've been open as a business. RVG Media. Oh, little, two years. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> RVG Media, but yeah, it's <laughs> Hawkesbury region. Um. But Maryland's region, if you want. Mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that's that's cool, bro. Because like, I guess, yeah, I guess like really, um, uh, photography is where I literally started getting into it. But mm. um, I think it was because of like that, like a heavy, hefty breakup I've had, and yeah. that I think that's where it sparked. But I, I, I had my like photography business to back me up. But once you dive into it, and once you get more into the actual, um, you know, journey, how cliche that word is, journey, but. Mm you really dive into knowing and understanding yourself and that's and that's when like you know when when shit hit the fan that's when i started like really getting into my self-development journey definitely that's when um 
when you face hard times, that's definitely when you learn and that's, yeah, that's where the for sure. Oh yeah, no, for sure. That's that's literally where it all started, man. Like without that, like without uh, what I experienced, I wouldn't be here where I am today. So which is which is quite interesting. But I, I just want to I just want to talk about that word journey, right? Like as I said, it sounds it sounds really cliche, eh? Mm. But it, that's what it is. At the end of the day, it is. It, it is. is. A it is a journey. You know what I mean, I, I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of people out there that uh, really like you know say that you know it, it, it trust the process, the journey, and all that kind of stuff, which is cool and all. But um, I I feel like that shouldn't uh, persuade you from you know actually pursuing that path. You know what mm. I mean? Because yeah. It's, it's, it's just quiet. It, it is an actual journey. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely. It's, def- it's definitely a journey. And it, it's in hardships where you truly learn about yourself. Like, as, as everyone says, like, nothing grows in the comfort zone. Yeah. That, oh, okay. That Interesting. Is, that is so true. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, in the comfort zone where you're comfortable and you're just like, like, everything's going well and all this. Yeah. Do not expect growth of from course. that area. But yeah, when yeah. you're going through hardships and when you're actually encountering things in life that are pushing you and testing you, that's definitely when you need to develop into a new person mm-hmm. that can face these new situations. Yeah, 100%, man. Um, like, without without those hardships and all that kind of stuff, exactly. you know, it wouldn't grow as a, as a person. But yeah, going back to, you know, where we all started and all that kind of stuff, I think that's where I ca- uh, that's that's where, uh, you know, that whole self-development journey. Bro, I was like a mad self de- Like, when that happened, I was like, mad self self development like junkie mm. when you're going to like you're reading you're you're binge watching like so much um shit on YouTube like Gary V was like one of the big ones that I that I watch um Tony Robbins was I another one pray to Gary V I saw he's probably he's, <laughs> a, he's a god bro like <laughs> we literally have his book here like literally that is the bible <laughs> um yeah 100% Another book that I got, actually, you know what? You know where where my self development journey starts from reading this book, um, "Think and Grow Rich" by Napoleon Hill. If you guys like uh, dived into your self development journey, I'm I'm sure you are very aware of that. Which I, I definitely still need to read. You still need to read, bro. <laughs> you still need to read. Like I'm I'm gonna give you give you this book, bro. <laughs> straight out. Um, and actually, like um, uh, funny story. This this book was actually a gift from someone else. Was it from here? It was actually from the ex, my my ex. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, so was, she was the main. Cause she was actually the main. Yeah, yeah. Literally, like, th- if you ever listening to this, shout out to you. Um, but yeah, because of that, yeah, it was crazy because she she was gonna give that give gift that to me for my birthday, mm. um, and then we had our little breakup and whatnot. But she still ended up giving me this book. Mm. But yeah, since from like from then, man, like that really sparked the fuel in me yeah. to like really like go balls deep. Yeah into whether like whether it's my businesses or like just change as a human being oh definitely well like the whole the whole thing of self-development like the curiosity i have for the whole the whole like you know what i mean the whole game is like what sort of person can i become how far can i take Mm, this yeah 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 for sure like there's so many aspects of self-development like it goes from physical, spiritual, mental, like even financial, emotional, you know? Yeah, what I mean? exactly. There's so many yeah. aspects that you can like actually endeavor down and like yeah. see how far you can get with it. Yeah. And I think that's why I have that obses- obsession as well is because like how far can you get to that mm, place? Definitely. You know what I mean? How how much can you develop? Definitely. I like know? to I like to um, refer to self-development sometimes as self-evolution. Okay, so interesting. You know well, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, wh- why do you say that though? Like, I mean, I g- understand the whole evolution aspect of things. Like evolution, as in constantly changing and becoming, like, yeah, right. quote unquote, a better version of yourself. Yeah. Yes. Love that. The so, be- the better version of yourself. So yeah. that's kind of evolution in its definition sense. Yeah. But um. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why. That's pretty much my like to this day. Mm. I just want to be the like the best version of me mm-hmm. in every aspect. I don't want to be a like. I don't want to just be a specialist in like mentally strong or whatever. Yeah. I want to be like good in all aspects. You yeah, know I mean? for sure. hundred percent, bro. I, I feel like, um, uh, wi- with, with a lot of millennials or a lot of people our age, um, they don't really, d- they, they don't really understand the whole, you know, being the better version of yourself. Mm, you know definitely. I mean? Definitely. They settle for mediocrity. Yeah. In sense. And, and conformity of like what society says about like, you know, how you should be as a teen or, um, oh fuck, we're adults now, bro. Well, well, <laughs> I, I'm almost an adult now. I mean, technically, I'm I'm t- I'm 20 t- 
turning 22 this year. Yeah. Technically, I'm an adult. Yeah. I but young adult, you know what I mm. mean? Um, but for, for us, you know what I mean? Uh, it's definitely something that people should be looking into more, uh, into more. So, you know, they can really, you know, do what they want, have a happy lifestyle and be okay with themselves. Definitely, definitely. And something interesting is like, I feel like a lot of people want to go down the path of self-development and like become the best version of themselves, but they care a l- way too much about other people's opinions. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So hundred percent. I feel like other opinion, uh, other people's opinions, is what um, you know really pull them down oh. from from becoming who they are as a person. I I mean like I like that that was me. Yeah, indefinitely. Yeah, I mean, it, it def- like especially in high school, bro. Like um, in high school. I really, I think it was, I, I liked, it, it, not that I liked the fame, but it was more like the popularity thing. You know what I mean? Mm. How, 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 how many people can I know so I can get that status? That social status. Yeah, that yeah. social status. And I, I feel like looking at it now, I feel like that was the most dumbest shit. Social status in yeah, high school does not mean It doesn't mean shit. In real life, and you know what? This is an interesting topic because I definitely feel like people in high school who, like they are in the popular crowd. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. No, for sure. Being in the popular crowd, but a lot of the times they exit high school with this, with this mentality that they're yeah, entitled, they're they're entitled enti- to something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. And then that's when they s- they tend to go backwards because because they have this sense of entitlement, and then they go into the real world and realize that no one owes you absolutely. No, anything. no one owes shit. I, and that's th- that was my problem when mm. I left high school. Is like fuck, I know all these people, but. Fucking mm. and also it comes down to like who the fuck are my true friends? Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? Who the fuck are your true friends? But um, uh, in saying that, yeah, it's like you know, since I know a lot of people, like fucking, you know, can that really mm. can offer that me something? Like, me yeah, sense. benefit me. I mean, okay, not gonna lie though, not gonna lie, like it did benefit me in my business, mm. like knowing a lot of people. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Because um, if I didn't know a lot of people, my business, like no, no, one, no one would know my business mm. really. And high school was like my prime time doing, doing Envision mm. and really like, you know, pushing that forward. And um, the whole, yeah. And I think, I think it's, the, I, I felt, I still felt like kind of popular. I, fe- I felt needed. Yeah. I mean, definitely. I felt needed. I definitely felt Which needed. Which is a basic human need. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So exactly. That, that comes down to like exactly. Um, but I felt it needed in high school, so that definitely like made me, uh, you know, it, it like the the whole popularity or that kind of benefited me for that reason. Yeah, definitely. And in my, um, in my case, with the popularity, it, I was pretty much my story is pretty much backwards in that sense because, like, in popular, I definitely wasn't most popular kid. Right. Okay. Oh, well, actually, yeah, I never. I don't. I don't know your your like what your mm. life was like yeah. in high school, bro. <laughs> so, so, so Tell me about it. In high school, I wasn't the most popular kid, but I definitely wasn't like, you know, what I mean, I wasn't just the kid in the library sort of thing. I, d- I was like sort of in the Fucking middle, if you, <laughs> <say>. <laughs> yeah, yeah. if you want to say. Yeah, yeah. If you want to say that. Yeah. Now, nah, fair, fair, fair. I get but yeah, that. I pretty I pretty much left high school with um, with like very little friends sort of thing because I was yeah. just I was so into physical development and the gym. I f- oh yeah, yeah. That I was mm-hmm. kind of outcasted. You know oh, what same, I mean? same. Yeah, I feel you on that in that regards as well. Did no. you feel like you had anybody to relate to? Not at all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I but felt in, that. in saying that, like, I don't look at that as a bad thing because that no, did develop not. a lot of my traits today that make me who I am. You know what I mean? Like yeah, for sure. The ability to like just not honestly like not care what people think. Yeah. I developed that in high school. All these other things when other people and other people were getting into like. You know, like all the standard things, teenagers like like the, like the full party life. Yeah, the party life and all this. Yeah, I yeah. was at home, but like just chilling. Yeah. And then what actually spiked, like, if you want to say, social status, yeah. was when I created my uh, business, RVG Media. Yeah. People started seeing me at parties and parties and all that, and then that's how I grew in terms of social status. Yeah, right. So it definitely wasn't from high school. We, yeah, yeah. We yeah. have opposite. Um, yeah, we stories. do have a very opposite stories. Interesting. Mm. Um, but yeah, like, cause. I mean, I was I was always popping, I guess. You know, I was I was that kid in high school that knew everyone, but I never felt like I was really close to anyone. Yeah, if yeah. that makes like sense. Like a drifter in a sense. Y- yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, a lot of people like to like call me a social butterfly. Yeah, yeah. Like I was that person like going from group to group to group to group. Yeah. Um, you know, like being being at a very uh, like a high school, you know, with other Filipinos and all that kind of shit. Like I stuck with them. You mm. know what I mean? But I felt like I was forced to be with them because of like who I was. Yeah, yeah. Like because that's my identity. I'm mm. like I'm Filipino. Yeah. I, sh- <laughs> I should be hanging around with the fucking Asians, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like with with everyone else. And like, you know, 
like everyone like bu- like that group like basketball and like games and shit during that time i just never like really mm. really fucked with all that kind of shit yeah and like uh because i was like you know trying to discover myself if yeah. that makes sense and 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 doing my business and uh, that was my focus mm. So you um, started relatively young in terms of business. Yeah, yeah, I so guess what, so. What age were you when you actually went down that path? I was, oh, I was sixteen. 16 I was sixteen. Really? Yeah, yeah. When very I started young. that, um, but it's very interesting. I think I had my, I had my business like mindset when I was younger. Like mm. probably, probably I started discovering that shit when I was like, um, thirteen, 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 fourteen. Really? Um, <laughs> back in high school, uh, I think I'm, I'm like, it's been like six years out of, oh, six years. No jokes, I lied. 19 20 21 22 four years out of high school right um so i can i can tell you this story mm. i don't i don't recommend this um please don't sue me uh, <laughs> <laughs> so basically back in high school bro i used to uh sell chocolate mm. in high school by like the actual cadbury you know how you can um uh you can actually don't uh that fundraiser shit yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so i used to do that um and basically uh sell it obviously cadbury gets there 50 percent, and then i make the 50 yeah, percent. Yeah. but the the unethical <laughs> thing about that was that i was saying that i was you know going to a um like a pr- uh like youth stuff like mm. it's for youth and everything <laughs> but really i was yeah that was my way of like making money i guess like some, some would label that unethical some no would yeah, no it's definitely unethical which i don't recommend i i, I was a dumb kid See, I would kind to of, money. I would label that entrepreneurial. But yes, <laughs> it is. Uh, technically, it is. <laughs> technically, it is. But it's very unethical if you, <laughs> yeah. if you say it's for uh, for the wrong reasons. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but like, I guess that's where it all started because, like, um, I would say that I'll, I I tried to find in the pe- financial independence very young. Yeah, yeah. So you were already straying away from that mediocre mindset of just like nine to five sort of job oh yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. that's um that's what i was like trying to do especially i think watching my parents work like a nine to five mm. and seeing how miserable they are and just wondering is that all there is yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. exactly that's that's what i you know tried to uh you know f- try figure out definitely well what what happened with me in high school was actually yeah. um so similar sort of story and my parent one of the parents my dad was involved yeah. Yeah, he actually right. bought me um he bought me a fair few like little like rubber bouncy balls right yeah and he gave them to me he gave me about a hundred and he said take these to school and sell them for two dollars a two dollars a ball they're still like hotcakes interesting he's like okay he's like i bought them for about 25 cents each yeah right i'm like okay i'm like uh, i don't know anything about selling but i'm like yeah. all right i started walking around the school oh, i think i was in about grade four or something mm-hmm. like new school <laughs> And, um, yeah, I was just walking around to people. I didn't know any selling tactics or anything like that, but all I would do was just go up to people and say, do you have $2? And if they said, <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, do you want to buy a ball? And they're like, yeah, okay. What kind of ball, bro? It's just the little rubble. The the little oh, rubble. right. Yeah, I'm talking like these things are like the size of 20-cent coins, them ones. Oh, right, those like bouncy balls. Mm. Yeah, And yeah, you know right. what? I actually sold... Like you're talking about like fucking testicles or no. something. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we're not selling human organs. <laughs> I mean... Uh, I don't think I'd be talking about it. It's pretty <laughs> lucrative, not going to lie, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, so I sold a few. I think I made about $50 or whatever. So I sold about 25 whatever. Yeah, cool. Until a teacher came up to me. Shout out to Miss Crow. <laughs> no. Um, she was basically... <laughs> I'm going to bleep that out, bro. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> she, she, was, she was basically... um. She was basically came up to me and she said, um, oh, are you selling in my school? I said, what are you talking about? She's like, apparently you're going around asking people if they have $2. I said, is there anything wrong with that? And she's like, yeah, there is. This isn't, yes. this isn't a sales ground. Yes. <laughs> and you know, that is, so oh, that man. is just a um, common example of the masses beating down entrepreneurs. <laughs> oh, yeah, straight mean? out. But like from a young age, but yeah, I was probably oh, like, yeah. I don't even know how old I was, but I was definitely year four. Yeah, what is yeah. that? I don't know. Yeah. Like eight, nine, yeah, around some, that age, some shit like that. But yeah, no, it's interesting. Mm. I mean, like the way that we kind of did it was very unethical. But I guess that's where we start. I th- that's where we started to, you know, really dive into our self development kind of definitely, thing. Definitely. I mean, in terms of like um, figuring out not only to figure out like financial freedom, but low key, that's that's our way of you know developing our skills. Oh, definitely confidence. Of what we, yeah, social yeah, confidence of what we have now. Mm. You know what I mean? I, if we, I don't. If I, I think if we didn't experience that shit, we mm. wouldn't be here where we are today. Rejection, rejection, like yeah, you know oi, what I mean? straight out. That, well, that that definitely that definitely like where it came when from. When I when I got like first told like oh you can't do this you can't do that it kind of it was like a um 
the power of aversion in a sense. And yeah. I, was, I was a little bit like, why can't I do this? Like, this is making me want to sell when, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. endeavor down a path that yeah. isn't like um, the well-treaded path, if you will. Yeah. But yeah. Interesting. So like, I would say that... Yeah, probably a young age. We that's where we where we started. Well, you know what's a um interesting fact? Gary V actually yeah. says, um, entrepreneurism or however you want to say that word, yeah. entrep- like becoming yeah. an entrepreneur. I, I'm dis- I'm dyslexic as fuck. <laughs> like, I, I, you're asking the wrong person. But yeah, sure. Let's. But that's, like, that's a new word. But <laughs> like, like um, entrepreneur in de- and in definition yeah. isn't something you can become. Isn't something you can like. Like, I'm sure you can become a sense of an entrepreneur. Yeah, right. But it's based on DNA. Like, it's from a very young age. You, you reckon know. it's you reckon it's from, d- like, d- it's based on DNA? That's what Gary says, but, you know. Oh, I mean, that's what that's, Gary it's says. Controversial. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that with a grain of salt because, yeah. like, in my family and all that kind of stuff, there's no, you know, no entrepreneurism whatsoever. Mm. I mean, I, I guess that's, okay, now, now we're on that topic. Like, it's very interesting because, like, I think entrepreneur, uh, whatever the fucking word is <laughs> it's um i would say it's developed mm. yeah you know I mean? it's it's a like a muscle it is a muscle it's sorry um so i would like to say i would like to say it, yeah it, it is developed it's just like you know like working out and all that kind yeah, of stuff yeah. like Yes, it is in your genes, but yes, you can grow like big muscles if you're a skinny dude. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Weren't you a skinny dude? <laughs> Very skinny. Yeah, I was, um, definitely but on the brink of anyway. What, what, what was your weight, bro? What was your weight in? Okay, so when I was um, I pretty much did boxing from I think it was about age ten to about age fifteen. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right, and um, yes, I was doing boxing, and obviously a lot of uh, expenditure in terms of calories and I was just like skipping a lot and doing cardio and I was I had very little knowledge on nutrition yeah right so obviously in the boxing game you have to be very fit so very, with all yeah. this excess cardio and very little nutrition because I thought you had to eat very little to be lean yeah you know right I mean? yeah, yeah yeah anyway that led me to be very underweight for my age <laughs> damn and um so that's actually what got me into the gym at the start. So at okay. around 15, I was sick of looking like very skinny. Like I, there was a point there where I like looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, okay, this is not healthy. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Was it, were you like under the, what are you, the uh, BMI? Like were you well, under that? Well, I was at, I think at about, I think at about 15, I was about 55 kilos. Damn. Okay. So that Shit. that is like I am. I'm five seven. So yeah. Um. Yeah. But no, I was dangerously skinny, and then I started working out, and yeah, that's that's pretty much the main reason why I got into physical development. Yeah. Cool. But yeah. Damn. So like, um. So what's wait? What's your ideal? Uh, your weight now? Like, is it is it is it in that range of we'll see. healthy? Is is that? <laughs> yeah. I I definitely like um. So I'm trying to with physical development. I used to have like an ideal body and all this sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah, okay, interesting. Now it is more about like working out. Isn't just for the physical development. It's also for mental development. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. So right. there's a lot of aspects that come into that. But I just want to be healthy. You know of what course, mean? yeah, yeah. Fuck, man. I think that's something that I need to look into. Now that you say 55 mm. is like fucking. I'm like 60, mm. and I'm like five six. I would say, mm. and yeah, I'm just fucking not on point with mm. myself, bro. Like. <laughs> I sleep late. Um, I barely drink water, which I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah. I'm developing that right now in, into my habits and shit. Um, uh, but I, uh, yeah, I want to try work out more. But like, it's 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 very hard when you when you do all this kind of shit. Like oh, when definitely. you do um, when you're running your own business and all that kind of. It's like it's very hard. It's definitely something you need to. It's not something that just like. Oh yeah, I'll do that. It's like something you need to make time for. You yeah, know I mean? yeah. Like you, I think it's a lifestyle. Oh, definitely. So same, it's a lifestyle. same with the lifestyle that we have in terms of growing our business. Yeah, you know what oh, I mean? it's like anything, man. Yeah, like it's not just like, it's not just going to the gym, work out, leave. Okay, you're gonna have an awesome body. It's it's more like go in the gym, work out, watch what's on your plate for the other 23 hours, sleep eight hours a night. Yeah, drink three like minimum three liters of water a day. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? And for de- sure. depends how deep you want to get into it. Yeah, hundred percent. But um, obviously, like with anything, like um, the more you put into anything, the more you're gonna get out. That's in terms of business, in terms of literally anything. Yeah, mad. Well, definitely, I need I I need to definitely do that, mm. bro. Like, I really need to develop that. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Did you ever, did you ever play with like, uh, like Lego by any chance? Like when you were younger, Lego. Like, like, <laughs> like have an obsession for Lego. Um, I wouldn't say obsession. I nah. definitely had an interest. I had a bit of Lego. Okay. What about you? I, I definitely, 
Mm. Definitely had an obsession, bro. Like full sets. The reason why I'm saying this because I, I guess that's where my creative side came out. Because mm. like, it was always like, I could build anything, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? I could build something. Um, oh, so like, like, long story short, bro. I I wanted to become an engineer. Yeah, really. Yeah, when I was younger, because I th- because I love building Lego. Mm. Um, and I thought that was like, yeah, you know, I'm a, I'm a builder. Kind <laughs> yeah, of yeah, definitely. But I kind of, now that I like, I'm, I, I'm more mature and I've, I've grown. I, I've got, I've gotten the sense that I am a builder, but it doesn't necessarily have to be in, um, you know, the construction industry. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, like it, it definitely helped me when it came to, um, you know, understanding what, I actually enjoy doing. Yeah, definitely. And like learning, learning about yourself and a big one, the ability to change. Yeah. A lot of people like definitely in my personal life too. Yeah. So there's been, I used to be like a carpenter, right? So I had this. How long were you a carpenter for? I was a carpenter from, from year, I think I left year 10, three months before it finished. So I didn't actually. Oh shit, you didn't actually finish. I didn't finish school. Oh fuck. Okay. (laughs) I I thought, damn, I thought you finished your year 10 or something. No, no. Yeah, so I did. Um, I left in whatever near the end of year ten, and then I like went down my like carpentry path, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then obviously, like, it's a really good job. Like, it is. A, it's an amazing job. All trades, they it's like steady pay, all this yeah. sort of thing. Very good job. But th- I think that was definitely heavily influenced by my the older um, male figures in my life. Right. Right. So my is, is that a family thing? Yeah. Well, my brother's a plumber. Yeah. Right. And my other brother's an electrician. So the plan, or well their plan, you know, yeah, was, yeah, their, was their plan. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I get oh, that. Oh, Ricky will be the carpenter. We can build houses. Yeah, right. So, but um, I definitely learned like, so I did get qualified in carpentry. Mm-hmm. And did you go TAFE for that or some shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah I went yeah. to TAFE. So that was about a that was about a four year course. But um, so I did that from yeah about fifteen to nineteen. Yeah, sort of thing. And then I left. And um, yeah, I definitely got a lot of backlash from friends, family. You know what I mean? Yeah, like people. Oh, what are you doing? You have like you have this you have this job, awesome income. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you can't go wrong with this steady income. And I'm just like, okay, but at the end of the day, I'm not happy. Yeah, yeah. okay. Like, and that's that is my ultimate term of success. Right. It is not like yeah, okay. So it, it differs with many people, but like at the end of the day, if you think about it, people, some people like a lot of people aspire to be rich, right? Yeah. They aspire to um, like acquire mass amounts of money. Mm-hmm. What is the money for? When you think about it, they want the money to buy the house that'll make them happy. Yeah, right. Yeah, I get that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or like buy the car that'll make them happy. Or yeah. This that'll. Ma- but in reality, we can be happy like right now. Oh fucking oath, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, now for sure, like you can really just it, it's 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 a state really. Mm. Being happy is a state of mind. It's a conscious decision. It is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like that's what the mass like of society can't like kind of wrap their heads around. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they just think that like I'll be happy when I get this or when I get that but what they don't understand is that that um like constant constant seeking of the next thing it's mm-hmm. very it's fleeting and it's not permanent if you like think about it think about it, like in terms of this like if you want to get this car so bad you're really excited you're really excited and then you get the car how long does that excitement last for in that like novelty not long you know yeah. what I mean? it wears off very quickly yeah what people actually get addicted to is the um the process of such of like when i get this the build up you know what i mean yeah and that's the actual that's the part that people actually you know what i mean that's mm-hmm. where the happiness comes into it like i can't wait to get this i can't wait to get that yeah but when sure. they get it the them having the whatever it is is yeah. actually less um pleasurable than the no, there's no fulfillment bro there's no fulfillment there's no fulfillment yeah that's why yeah you, you, you need to like find happiness where you are now just be grateful you know yeah. what I mean, for what we have right now yeah so how's your family now like or friends like have are they like cool what you're doing now do they have that understanding or are you still going that process or fighting yeah well, fighting I've, uh you know their decision opinions opinions, opinions sort of yeah thing. yeah yeah, definitely. Um, so a lot of the the friends sort of thing have like agreed with it and all that, just because I've had like they've seen that I can have success in this too, like whatever yeah. I choose to do. So they've seen I've had like a bit of success in the photography business, and I just started as a school photographer. So like they're kind of like you know, they they're convinced now, <laughs> but my dad he's very old school, yeah. the Maltese. Those are listening. Oh, he has that. Yeah, he has that mindset, that, bro. That, that, like, that you know what I mean. Yeah, work with your hands, like that old sort of thing. What, was your was your was your dad raised here or raised it back back though? Uh, back he home, he came over here when he was six years old. 
Oh, okay. So he's born and raised here. Yeah, yeah. But he, I'm assuming, obviously, his, his parents were very old school. Yeah, and he, he was actually working on a farm since he was eight. <laughs> oh, damn. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, oh, yeah, actually, very, very interesting. Sorry, the same with my dad. Mm. My dad was a farmer boy back in the Philippines. Yeah. yeah so um, so that, that, that's why that common mindset, it's its like a um, collective of the older generation. Yeah. The, you know what I mean? The, the boomers. Yeah. <laughs> the okay boomers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, like the whole thing where like the only way to earn money is through hard labor. Mm-hmm. And it is not like in this, this is a like, it's a new era, it's a new world. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? In the digital era, there's so many ways to earn money. Yeah, so the boomers and all that kind of stuff, bro. Like, it, especially with them, their mindset, bro. Like they have this this mindset that, you know, uh, you need to have a good education or you need to do like hard work to really live that dream. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think it might be different because your your side, your, your family, like, is is the like I would say the the labor kind yeah, of construction no, side yeah. where my dad was like trying to you know get out of the whole um, province and the whole poor life, mm. so he wanted to go find an education for himself, yeah, yeah, so okay. he can like you know come here. I think it's different for you because like your your dad came over here, mm. you know, what I mean, at a young age, yeah. where my dad came when. I think in his 30s, like oh, yeah. 1992. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he has that mindset of just trying to, um, yeah, get a great education and yeah. y- you'll be sweet kind of thing. Definitely. And it's like the, like the, the obviously your parents, they want to pass their ways onto you. But the thing is, I'm not like, no disrespect, but their mindsets in a sense are, out- are outdated. Yeah, yeah, for you know sure. I mean? Like the opportunities that we have, they're not quite aware of. Yeah. Like in terms of like social media, social media is a very powerful tool. Oh yeah, mean? right now for sure. I mean, like honestly, our, our 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 parents and the older generation they mean well. Yeah, no, they, they really do. It's mean in good. Well. It's, it's, it's in, in our good, best interest. Yeah, it's in our best interest, but they just don't understand like the like they lack the context. opportunities. They lack yeah, context. yeah, they just don't know you know what opportunities we have now. Like it's totally different mm. from what it was back then. Um, like to this day, like my parents, you know, I think that I think it's because they they didn't understand. Um, like all that, all that kind of stuff. I feel so bad for my sister because she has to deal with, mm. like, you know, being the the older sister, yeah. she has to go through all their all that BS. Mm. But now, like, you know, they've seen my sister go through it, and now that um, they've seen me trying to do it, they're, mm. they're getting a little bit of a better understanding mm. of like, oh crap, like you can make money, like you know, online or yeah, yeah. You start your own business, like that. That shit wasn't possible back then. Mm. You know what I mean? Like. And it was like very, you know, you you needed money and all that kind of stuff. And the thing is, like, it's very, in your like situation where you didn't necessarily grow up seeing, like, you saw your parents with like good educations, working good jobs. Yeah. But you never necessarily had an entrepreneurial figure in your life. No, never actually. So it's actually yeah. it's in, it's interesting that you actually like went down this path. Yeah. Of becoming an entrepreneur because it's it's a known fact that kids tend to follow by example. Yeah, 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 for you know sure. I mean? That's very yeah yeah because like with with I, I yeah like you said I never had that like an entrepreneurial like figure to to you know I want to start my own business or mm. anything like m- most of my family were back in the Philippines uh, but I think it's because I think my dad had like low key had that business mindset mm. of like starting his own shit um, but he he just never you know he he was just stuck in that nine to five that he couldn't do yeah definitely you know and I mean? when you have it's very hard to like that's why. I, I would say, like, if you yeah. if you want to take a leap in anything, do it while you're young. Do it while oh yeah, hundred percent. You have minimal bro, financial tie downs. Exactly, man. When you're older and you have a family and a mortgage and this and that, you can't necessarily yeah. go two to three weeks without income. Yeah, of course. Because let's be real, entrepreneur it, it is very glorified in society. Oh yeah, uh, well, now it is because of like the whole you know phase of yeah, everything. Yeah. Like I think the whole boom of Gary V, like it's no, all definitely. glorified. Like everyone wants to become an entrepreneur mm. and all that kind of stuff. But it's not like don't get me wrong, being an entrepreneur is amazing and having your oh, own yeah, business sure. it's very beneficial 100 percent. but it is not all the bells and whistles that no, it's made out to be no there will be not, weeks bro. where you won't make money oh definitely bro 100 you know I mean? <laughs> man and that's and, it, like and I think no one's posting about these like yeah. hardships and yeah about for the sure things they go through 100 percent. and i think i think that needs to be more you know said than or more shown i guess definitely like to to, uh, to, like to really because i feel like there's so many people um, I think Gary. Ugh, I love how we keep mentioning Gary V. Mm. Like, like I said, Gary V's our god. No, not really. Just, <laughs> not, not to that extent. But we take a lot from Gary V. Like, yeah. the, he he was saying that um, you know, there's gonna be like a great depre- like great depression again in, in the sense of like 
all these people are going to start their own business and all mm. that kind of stuff. And then they re- re- will realize how fucking shit it is yeah. and how much shit you have to eat. It's and not, then not many people can handle that stuff. It's not a, like, it's not a, um, people have this like mindset, oh, I start a business, I can work less. And yeah, I can enjoy bro. No, my life. no way, bro. Backwards. <laughs> it's backwards, man. You work like, especially I, if you start as a side hustle. Yeah, bro. And venture into full time. Like, mm-hmm. You will work. I'm talking like 80 hours. You will work like a fucking dog. Yeah, literally. Straight out. Like when I, uh, I use, yeah. So I worked retail. Mm. Yeah, I worked there full time. So 38 hours a week, bro. I did this for a year and a half. Yeah. And then I had my gigs on the weekend. Yeah. And that was fucked. So basically, yeah, I'll do my weekday stuff, do retail, all that kind of things. And then I'll finish at six o'clock. Yeah, six o'clock at um the retail place that I'm staying at. Now it's gig time. <laughs> yeah, and then it's gig time. Seven and then seven o'clock, seven o'clock till like twelve, and then I'll come home at like twelve thirty mm. or one or some shit like that. And you know it does like you and you say your coworkers like complain like oh we got one bro, hour left and you're I'm just like, like I've bro, literally got like I've ten like hours. Ten, I've st- yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a very interesting perspective though. But in saying that, like as we as we are saying, like it is hard and you are gonna work a lot of hours. Yeah. If you do pursue what you love, it do- I know it's it very d- cliche, oi, no, but I it honestly you. doesn't feel like work. Oi, I I honestly feel that man. You know what like I, mean? I, I like especially what I, I, I had the shoot from like one PM, right? Mm. One PM all the way to like three AM. Mm. Yes, that might sound very tiring mm. and i probably got home at like 4 30 and i was exhausted mm. but you know that it's was just passion yeah like i didn't feel like it was work like i was chilling mm. <laughs> chilling no. pressing a button exactly you know socializing yeah. kicking back um and that's one thing i love about photo- like especially i specialize in um event photography yeah just like mark does a lot of events too yeah and, um, yeah we both do that stuff the the social aspect oh, is that is like half the gain you know yeah, what I mean? yeah yeah for sure the social confidence i've gained from like working at events is like insane you know what i mean oh 100 percent. like man. i'm honestly like I'm not like talking myself up here or anything, but like I honestly, I can like walk up to anyone on the street, ask for like directions, and that's like yeah. that may sound like nothing, but a lot of people have. They can't do that, bro. Yeah, exactly. They can't even say hello. Mm. You know, you you can, bro. I I I guarantee you, you go to you go to Haymarket right now, right? Mm. Yeah, you, ha- you try spark a conversation, people will just walk away. Exactly. People will think you're crazy, bro. Mm. You know what I mean, and I think that's that's a really like really important um skill set to have. No, definitely. Um, but yeah, yeah. Start like you know, starting your business. Mm. Yeah, you you get to do that kind of shit. Um, but yeah, in saying that, you know, like uh, doing things you love and finding your passion is very, very important. It's We're, essential. Bro, it's like. a s- very essential. Like, um, there's like ev- like everyone nowadays. Like even me, I, I was like that. I just didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Mm. You know what I mean? Like even though I had my business, mm. I, I felt I felt I was still lost. Yeah, no, definitely. In, in the sense of like you know, uh, why, why the fuck am I doing it? It's a. It's like. It's not something that like you can reach. I feel like it's a never-ending process. You know, yeah. I mean? we're yeah, constantly yeah, changing. Ne- yeah, yeah, for sure. And like, I, I definitely. And agree that's with why that. I um, like a lot of people, it's frowned upon to, like, you know, I me mean, change careers regularly or like whatever, change locations. But the ability to actually change and adapt mm-hmm. to who you're becoming, yeah, and put your happiness at the like at your top priority, yeah, I definitely feel like that's a very strong thing to have. Yeah, for in, sure. In comparison to someone who's just like okay, I've got this secure job. I'll just stay here until I'm like 70. You know what I mean? And yeah, what, live 50 yeah, years exactly. of unhappiness and then stuff. <laughs> yeah, and just like, you know, live the normal traditional mm. life. I mean, I, I, like, honestly, bro, like, if you're, if you're happy, exactly, if exactly. you're happy living that life, if you really find there's nothing fulfillment, wrong with it, nothing there's wrong. nothing wrong with that. But majority of people mm. just... You know, just they're, they're, like that's not their happiness. Put up with it. I yeah, hate, like there's, there's, yeah, and people are just, you know, locked into that, you know, traditional mindset. And you know, it's it's all, to, you know, figure that out. Yeah, definitely, it's all based off fear. Like that's what it comes down to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fear of no income, fear of being judged. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, for sure. Bro. All the fear of change, fear of like p- people like. F- I literally terrified of fear. Uh, yeah. I'm not a fear, my bad. Of change, of change. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that, nah, for sure. But like, when in, I don't know, like, same with you. I literally love change. Like, mm. I live for change, you know what I mean? Was that something that you always had in you? Or like, was that something you just developed, like you started enjoying? Honestly, I like, I know I'm relating everything back to physical development. That's but okay. that's where it kind of stemmed from, you know what right, I mean? Right, yeah. The, like the ability to change my body. Yeah. Now can I change my mental state? Mm-hmm. Now can I change my financial state, emotional right. state, you know what I mean? Just like... Yeah, bro. Because there's, there's, pi- there's a pillar yeah, of, of development and all that kind definitely. of stuff. There's, oh, I mean, there's like seven areas of your life. Mm that you're looking for. So obviously I think 
the bottom is really your your own mindset and then yeah. there's the physical financial and then your relationships mm. um uh, tony robbins really like dives into this and then um contribution cont- contribution is the last one Second. which is a major aspect yeah once bro once you f- once you reach there man i feel like that's mm, god that's t- when you, god you <laughs> yeah god t bro you've reached like a level of success i reckon well, definitely like, like happiness. It, because you like if you think about it someone who actually contributes to society and tries to like help other people they have to be at an amazing like level themselves to oh, help yeah, others for you know sure. what I mean? 100% if I can Tony Robbins wouldn't be doing where exactly. you can't <laughs> what he would be doing if he wasn't at that god tier <laughs> you can't pour from an empty cup yeah oh I love that love that and um yeah so that's definitely like um so obviously like get yourself right first mm-hmm. and then focus on contribution a yeah. lot of I like I know a few people who have tried to skip that step of yeah, self yeah, like yeah you need to get self right you need to have a little bit a little bit selfish and work mm-hmm. work out what works for you and how you get yourself in this amazing state. Yeah. And then you can push that onto the world. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I mean, like that's I think that's where we all have to start. People just don't realise that you really have to be selfish mm. to be selfless. Yeah, no, definitely. Um but don't don't take it like the wrong way in terms of selfish, like, you know, fucking just doing things for yourself. Mm. But doing for things for yourself in order to develop to become the person who you are. Definitely. I like I have a there's a morning routine I do every single day to make sure that I'm the best version of me, so yeah, I for can sure. be the best version of me to other people. You know what of I mean? Of course, hundred percent. That's just like a like a little list of like wake up, meditate, practice gratitude, affirmations, and then get out of the house. Like it doesn't take long, but the state it puts me in is so worth it. Yeah. So so what's um what's gratitude to you like for the people out there that haven't really dived into that com- compared to us? Yeah. So gratitude to me is the ability to actually be content with what you have now so as i was saying before everyone like is focused on the next big thing and the next this and next that yeah. and they they so often like overlook what they currently have right yeah you've heard you've heard the saying like oh the grass is always green on the other side yeah, this and, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. and this is everyone taking their attention off what they already have but when you actually think about it like if you like all the things that you already have, when you actually think about them and appreciate them, mm. you're like, like I really have it good. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, hundred like, percent. If bro. you like sit down, that's Especially why. Especially for the smallest thing, man. Oh, bro, just like the ability for like full body function. Oh yeah, yeah, Access for sure. Access to water. So like, thank, thank fuck, I have feet to honestly, walk, bro. bro you like, know what I mean? These like, things that people take for granted. Yeah, for sure. There was a people in like, like obviously developing countries and stuff mm-hmm. like that that would like kill for our life. Oh, bro, hundred percent. But did you see like? Uh, like, pe- like I, w- I went to the Philippines and all that kind of stuff. Mm. You see, like, the kids so happy, like, mm. on the street, man. Exactly. Just playing with a, like, freaking, um, like, a, pa- a paper ball, mm. kicking that shit around or using that as a basketball. They're happy mm. like that, you know what I mean? And a lot of people in the, uh, the first world country complain about, like, their fucking phone not charging yeah, or some exactly. shit. Like, or the, you, the, they, don't, they don't have, like, a charger to, mm. you know, to, to do that kind of shit. So, yeah. Which brings you back to the, like, original point. Happiness is a state of mind. Yes. And gratitude plays a massive part in that. Of course. And like even hand in hand with gratitude, I am. Um, so like another big one on top of gratitude is presence. Yep. Right. So just like. Yeah. You, being in the present moment. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, yeah. Do, we'll do um we'll do a, like a show on each one of these a bit later on. But like just the like being in the present moment because like as I think it was Eckhart Tolle who said it. Or Remind me who the fuck Eckhart Tolle is. Tolle is. <laughs> Eckhart, he's like a um, spiritual teacher. Really, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Really like, yeah, that makes sense. Guy, he gets into some deep shit, like, <laughs> like you, really balls deep. I'm talking, I'm talking like, should have blow your mind up, but like, right. <laughs> but yeah, like what what he said was all all anxiety, fear, like um, all them sort of like emotions are all from living too much in the future, right? Or remorse, regret depression all that sort of thing is living too much in the past right yeah what yeah, do you yeah. have right now like i'm sure you have problem you've had problems in the past everyone has a past yeah you've had or oh, there's like an upcoming thing that you're anxious about and you know that there might be a problem here okay but what do you have right now if you actually think about that live in the like i can't totally cause it the now the which now. is just the present moment oh wait he has that book yeah the power, power of now, now by yeah okay totally. yep yep and um yeah when you like actually start to live in that state you like start to realize Oh, right now, the only thing I have, like the natural state of, of if we're going to get real spiritual here. Of, Fuck it, let's do it, bro. <laughs> you know, like let's the natural it. state of being, yeah, just like without the egoic mind and all that sort of thing right. is just like joy, like pure joy. Yeah. Like when you have no, when you're not thinking in the past or thinking in the future, yeah, it's just here and now and you're just like happy. 
Mm-hmm. So I think that's definitely a um. We'll definitely we'll talk about that in some further shows. But oh yeah, for sure, hundred um, percent. That's well, an important skill to learn. Yeah, um, yeah, for sure. And in in saying that, like gratitude is a big one mm. for sure. Um, but also just, you know, uh, the affirmations, man. Oh, you, definitely. you mentioned that. How you speak to yourself. How you how speak you to really, yourself. How you really, the language that you speak to yourself mm. as well is, is quite a powerful thing when you're trying to develop into the person who you want to become. Definitely, man. Like, because if you have that, like, I used to have this attitude where, you know, uh, the, I'm not good enough mm. attitude. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like that takes, you, you don't realize, but your subconscious mind like has this uh does this thing in the back of your brain like it records like yeah yeah it like, records what you say and will put that energy out in the world mm. and then once that energy is out there your like, thoughts become a reality that's like, exactly right honestly that's exactly right and what people don't like there's there's a um when like it may seem harmless just saying to yourself like oh i'm so stupid or I'll never be good enough. But you're yeah. literally telling your body and you're convincing yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're literally... Yeah, exactly. Like, it's just like you're wiring your mind to think that way. So yeah. it's like it becomes a natural response. Yeah. Where in contrast to being like... I like it may... Some people may think this is like cringe or whatever, but you can they can think what they want because you know, it genuinely works. Mm-hmm. If you sit there and say like, I am amazing, I am worthy, yes. you know I, mean? I am great. Powerful shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so like powerful. And I, mm-hmm. I know like from experience because... It changes the subconscious, like learn through um, repetition. Yes, that's exactly right. Right. So when you like start to do these things day in, day out, day in, day out, when so, say some external noise, like someone comes up to you and says, you're not good enough. Instead of like sitting there and dwelling in that being like, wow, I'm really not good. Like, you're like, yeah. no, like, uh, I know who I am. I know who I, I am. I know my fucking worth kind of so, thing. So like yeah. ex- nothing that you can say can make me like um, think to any different to that. Yeah, for sure. That's why I like it definitely. That comes down to like knowing self and... Yeah, just to, that's another th- um, like aspect of development. You yeah, know oh, I mean? knowing yourself, knowing yourself mm. value, bro. Mm. Um, that's so important because like, uh, I have, I like I I have a few friends, man. Like they 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 really they you know they can say all this um you know they can say all this positive stuff to them to to us like to me or mm. their friends and all that kind of shit. But if they don't have that, um, if they don't say those positive things in their mind, mm. it doesn't mean anything. Exactly, they say um. There's a quote going around. It says, "Speak to yourself the way." No, yeah. So, speak to yourself the way you would speak to a five-year-old kid. Right. Something like that. You wouldn't say to a five-year-old kid, "You're not good enough." You know what I mean? You're not this. You're not that. You'd say to a, like a five-year-old kid, "Be like, you're amazing. You're doing great." You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. And you need to have that compassion towards self because. Yeah, yeah. Have your own compassion to mm. yourself for sure. <coughs> and <laughs> in saying that as well, I mean like. Not many people are privileged or lucky to to have that guidance from like their older figures to give it that they had compassion. Oh, I, mean, d- I wasn't kidding. Like, yeah, no, I, I didn't get that, bro. Being in an Asian household, bro, like saying I love you is such a big thing. Mm. You know what I mean? Which maybe it shouldn't maybe, be. Like it shouldn't be. No, um, and that's why some people, uh, some people are just like it's very hard for them to find compassion to themselves mm, because yeah. they've never experienced it when no, they're younger, when they're young, like a, uh, when they're in the in the younger years or mm, childhood. Definitely. Um, and that's impacted them dr- dramatically when they become older, because it's like it's it's like in, in the sense of like you know it's it's, it's like a low key trauma in, mm. in some sense. No, definitely. Like you're kind of traumatized by the fact that you were, you were never loved. Mm. You know what I mean? And you're always will ever like you always think about that when you're you know trying to do do your thing. Or yeah. Um, when 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 you experience things, you're just like oh yeah, that's why I'm not good enough. Kind mm. of thing comes into play. And that's why like it is so important. Like you can do so like. In, in terms of what I think surface level like knowledge and stuff is like reading books, podcasts, all that sort of stuff is amazing yeah. and you will like store that stuff sort of thing but like yeah. in terms of like your morals and all that sort of like deep stuff, that's all in the subconscious Yeah, and you need to get into like affirmations and all that like meditation is amazing oh meditation sort of is another thing man mm. when it comes to self-development oh my goodness i feel like a lot of people f- it's so underrated mm. so underrated i, I don't under I, I just think that not many people understand how powerful it it uh it can be definitely like that li- it literally changed my life bro same with me um i thought that shit was like cliche you know? exactly like there that, is that like fucking voodoo fucking magic there's a, um, like i'm wasting my time definitely kind of there's a i feel like a lot of the reason why people don't venture into meditation is because a few reasons so they think that it's like a skill set that only a few like you know what i mean they think it's this really hard task right yeah. another thing they think it's like 
obviously there is spiritual aspects to meditation if you want to go down that path yeah of course but there is like just say mindfulness for example mindfulness meditation that is basically it's just like it's just the most basic form of meditation and it's just all about like self-awareness and developing Mm -hmm. self-awareness to be able to like differentiate between like negative thoughts positive thoughts Mm -hmm. what's what's here to like what will this thought serve me you know what i mean yeah for sure and like that's why a lot of people don't get into it because they think it's like very spiritual (laughs) i mean yeah like very very (laughs) spiritual in the sense like that you know they might you know they're getting into too deep Mm. Um, into that, into that spiritual, like religion-wise as well. Like, oh, definitely. People you know think I mean? it'll people, clash with people their... cl- will clash. Like, I o- I also thought like mm. that as well. But there there is a borderline. You know yeah, I mean? definitely. And the way that you meditate, you know, you relate that back to your whoever you believe. You, the, your high power. Your your high power. You know what I mean, people definitely. believe in you know the world or God or mm. Buddha or whatever. You know what I mean, or or or, or camel if you <laughs> <laughs> if you believe in a camel or, or some or shit. Or in my case, scary Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> no, um, but like meditation honestly brings you closer to whatever your religion is. Like, there's yeah. plenty of cr- like amazing Christians and Catholics that meditate to bring them closer to their God. Yeah, for sure. And there's a lot of, um, I would say, you know, Christian Catholic entrepreneurs out there as well that, 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 uh, you know, that are very religious, uh, sorry, that are very into meditating for like Tony Robbins is mm. he massive on all massive, stuff. massive man. You uh, need an out like an outlet, bro. Like you need to have some form of stress relief. Otherwise it is pretty much inevitable that you will burn out. Yeah, for sure. Um, and people will like soon to realize that when they when they start, you know, really d- getting uh, diving deep mm. into into this kind of sh- uh, into this kind of stuff. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be your business mm. or like you know um, you know whatever. Like, but it, it can just be like like you said, just trying to be becoming that better version of yourself. Yeah, no, definitely. They they'll like soon to realize like damn like this is like it take it takes a toll on you, especially when you yeah. first like start out. You know what I mean, bro? I remember when I first started out, man. It was uh, like. I was that kid in 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 school as, as well, like having the like the, uh, the youngest kid to have a job. Mm. You know I mean, I I had three jobs, bro, <laughs> three fucking jobs, um, and that killed me. Mm. Like I did that for a year, cause like, you know how like when you're young, you have so much energy, yeah. and you just you're you're chasing the money because yeah. that, that was that was a thing. Definitely. You know what I mean, but you don't um you know I was always like money 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 so I can you know. Um, buy shit so I can, you know, look good for other people. Yeah, definitely. That, that, so that, that was the thing that was driving me. That back was still there, obviously. Yeah, back in the days. But obviously, you know, when I grow, grew older and all that kind of stuff, that obviously changed. Mm. Um, but I think if, honestly, if I, th- if I got um, taught like, hey man, like if I was supposed to talk to myself like back then, mm. I'd be like, hey man, meditate you know yeah. make time for god or make time mm. for yourself yeah no definitely and you will like literally kill it mm. and if and um yeah if i did do that bro like i think things would be so much different like honestly i've only been meditating probably for a year and a, and a little bit now yeah right and like it honestly elevates everything in your life like yeah you know, it changes so much about you and like, obviously in a good way, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm a lot more conscious of uh, like my own thoughts and uh, like a lot more compassionate towards others. Yeah, for sure, A lot sure, less man. hate, a lot less resentment, like all these things. And I'm yeah. just like, why did I not do this when I was so much younger? Yeah. What, what was your, you know, like in high school and all that kind of stuff, did you have like a lot of resentment for like a lot of people? Like, did you hate people? Like uh, literally? It wasn't, um, it wasn't as much like, didn't really have resentment sort of thing. It was more so just like, your attitude. wanted to be like, um, like a need to be, you know, accepted. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I was always like the gym kid, and like people would make fun of me at the start because I was really skinny. You know yeah. what I mean? I come to school like knew nothing about nutrition, but I was like eating like six peanut butter sandwiches, <laughs> thinking yeah. that's how like eat big, get big, whatever. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I just wanted to be like, you know what I mean? Like fit in. Yeah. But um. So that was your way of trying to fit in. And yeah, and then eventually, what happened was I was just like, at the end of it, I was just like, you know what? I don't want to be like anyone else. Yeah. I don't, I'm happy being my own person. I'm happy I don't fit in. And yeah. I actually embrace that. Was that was that in high school or was that after high school? You that was like that? probably in high school, about year 10-ish. So yeah, okay. So you just before you left. Yeah. Kind of thing. I was just like, you know, I don't want to be like these people anyway. Yeah. Is you know that why I mean? you were like, fuck you guys, I'm going to go to um, oh, carpentry? Just, or? No, I was always like, I like that was just with the gym thing. And then carpentry was like heavily influenced by my family. Ah, uh, okay. Yep, yeah. Yep, yep. So they were like, I get that. I'll get into the job. And I was like, oh yeah, sweet. And yeah. I, obviously as a... Um, as a young kid, I think it was like 15 when you get an opportunity to earn $450 a week. Yeah, of course, like, bro. Like whoa. $450 <laughs> a week for what? Like a 16-year-old kid mm. is a lot of money. 
And I was like, my brother did the best thing for me actually when I got my first paycheck because I had intentions just to buy anything I wanted. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know how, like 15, 16 year old Bro, thing. That's, that, that was a dream, man. Mm. Like, my brother man. actually, he made a um, he made an account for me and he like he said, you have to put this certain amount of money away and that's this is mad. the amount of money you get to spend. And I'm yeah. like, that sucks. Like, yeah, that's sucks. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, well, well, I don't get to spend my whole wage. And then yeah. I'm like, okay, in a few weeks, I'm like, whoa, now I have quad, like four times the money I had yeah. whatever before. For sure. And that's what sparked like, kind of like my like financial development yeah. you know what i mean i was like saving is fun in a sense yeah uh, is, is in saying that is was your brother like uh like that older figure to really help and support you oh no indefinitely my um yeah my brother's always like looked up to them sort of thing right they've always like yeah been role models in that sense so yeah yeah okay cool so um in in terms of you know uh developing for the for the long run and all that kind of stuff we touched upon like gratitude and meditation um and what else did we touch upon uh presence presence as well yeah. i think an, uh another one as well is is really visualizing yes definitely yeah seeing who you not just going with the flow and actually having a target yeah. and setting it and then working towards that yeah bro um, because a uh, funny little story with this place exactly. Um, so y- you know, you know, a vision board. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So, so for, pe- for the people that don't know what a vision board is, is, is basically a board where, you know, you have all your dream goals or things that motivate you or give you a lot of energy. Like, um, on my board, I, I, I don't like, uh, I was supposed to do it physically, but I have it on my phone. So I have like pictures of, um, I would say, you know, speakers that i look into uh look up to uh my family because that motivates me um i have a tesla in there like a lamborghini uh fucking i have like vacation spots that i want to go to um but the one thing that uh was in there was an office space um and i did this i put that in there like probably 28th of october 2019 so just recently Mm. last year right um and because i read think and grow rich uh, and it talks heavily about um uh visualization and, and manifestation manifestation yeah. yeah yeah all that kind of stuff uh i tried doing that and because i went to a tony robbins event i'm like you know what fuck it let's let's try let's see mm. what it does yeah let's see what it does you know what i mean i was very i was very skeptical mm. however i did it i like legit every morning i did the meditation i did visualization mm. it was like um in the, in the, when you're priming which is which is a technique yeah, that like a breathing technique isn't it, it, it it's a breathing technique but it's also uh, a meditation technique yeah um they they tony goes through like three things that you visualize i thought about an office like pretty much almost every single day yeah like that was why one of my top things yeah you know i mean and this place was i would say was a coincidence because like without the, if i didn't see this person at this gig yeah I wouldn't have, you know, yeah, no, definitely. found this place. Mm. You know I mean, and I'm honestly so blessed and grateful mm. for what it is. Um, but visualization, man, like it is so powerful. Mm. Like, it's like, and acting upon it, like making massive action, like as if you already have it. Yeah, definitely. Um, is like, it, it's crazy. Then it's you get like dive into like law of attraction yeah, and all that bro. sort of thing. Like, yeah. Oh man, I am so excited when we talk about that stuff because no. it's gonna it's probably gonna be a very spicy conversation. <laughs> no, definitely. Well, that, that could have a whole a whole topic on itself. Yeah, sort of for sure. Um, but that's that's just like a little like I would say, uh, you know, uh, little snippet of what yeah, we're a little be. snippet of what we're gonna be talking about. Um, but in saying that, uh, well, shit, man. Like I think that's a good way to to end that to end to, uh, end this podcast. Mm. Um, uh, we're gonna be diving more into that kind of conversations and discussions later um, in in our podcast. Uh, but yeah, this is something uh, that we want to be doing for a while. Um, this is called the art of development. So if yeah. you really uh, f with us, man, like follow us our on our on our socials. Do we do we have social? Yes, uh, my one's on Instagram at mark and mine's just at uh, gauchi underscore so g-a-u-c-i and then yeah underscore. I'll, I'll put it somewhere down yeah <laughs> down there in the description below um but yeah it should be exciting um hopefully we're gonna be trying we're gonna try to do this like every week yeah uh monday weekly uploads. Re- weekly uploads um but yeah if you f with us please t- please subscribe follow uh follow us us on um soundcloud itunes 
and also YouTube for the visual for the visual stuff. Yeah, Spotify. Um, and sp- uh, yeah, did I say that? Yeah. Oh no, you didn't say. No, that. I didn't say. I didn't yeah. say Spotify, but Spotify as well. Yeah. Did I say SoundCloud? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely gonna be put on SoundCloud. So whatever you guys listen to, you have no excuse. Yeah. <laughs> no excuse for not listening to us. Um, but yeah, hopefully you follow us on this journey, and hopefully um, we can uh, provide you a bit of value. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for listening, man. Thank you. That's it. Bye-bye. Laters. <laughs>